these verses are emphasizing the weak nature of humans. They show the complete lack of control a person has for his death. It is as if Allah SWT is saying that if you are so sure that your only life is what you have in this world and that there is no day of resurrection, then definitely you do not want to leave this world. You want to remain alive forever. So try it. Try to save your life. And let's give you even an easier task. When you're sick yourself, you're weak, let alone you know, a near-death experience, just saving yourself would be difficult in this less healthy state. Why don't you then try to save one of your beloved ones from death with your full power and capability? Of course you cannot. As far as it says in Surah Qiyamah, ayat number 26 and 27, إِذَا التَّرَاقِ وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقِ No, when the soul has reached the collarbones and it is said, who will cure him? Brothers, let's not take this matter lightly. When the time of death comes, it cannot be averted. The health that we have today, the wealth that we have today, the time that we spend today, the opportunity that is available today, none of these will be at our disposal when death comes. Our day-to-day experiences are full of events that remind us of this reality. Just the other day, one of our family friends attended a wedding ceremony. No history of chronic disease, no symptoms of frail health. A jolly fellow giving an entertaining company to people around him goes home and a couple of hours later passes away during sleep. That is it. Life was over for him. All doors of actions closed just like that. Narrated by Anas bin Malik, said, إِذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِعَبْدٍ خَيْرًا اسْتَعْمَلَهُ فَقِيلَ كَيْفَ يَسْتَعْمَلُهُ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهُ قَالَ يُوَفِّقُهُ لِعَمَلٍ صَالِحٍ قَبْلَ مَلَوْتِ When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills goodness for a servant, He puts him into action. It was said, how does He put him into action, O Messenger of Allah? He said, He is guided to righteous deed before death. We make dua, Allahumma inna nas'aluka jannah, وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل اللهم توفنا مسلمين وأحدنا مسلمين وألحقنا بالصالحين وغير الخزايا والمفتونين اللهم أحسن أعقبتنا في الأمور كلها وأجلنا من خز الدنيا وعذاب الآخرة آمين